a special video uh, showing you how a camper van works, looks, feels, everything. So on this video we're just gonna show you the outside of the camper van and also the inside. So we just start from the outside. Barbecue, just open this and your barbecue. You just pull that from here. Just open it up, you get a tray, two stoves, obviously two gas burners. That's what it is. I only used it once. Alright, um, yeah, this is it. We also have an external light here as well. So if you in the dark and you want to light it up, there's a light, LED light as well. Loads of storage space here. We've got shoes in here, camping chairs, tables in there. Obviously all the strings. We have power cable for the campsite so when you're in a powered site hook this up to your vehicle and obviously that gives your vehicle a power all the fridge and everything inside we'll show you that afterwards and you also have your grey water pipe it's in there. I'll show you that as well and your fresh water pipe which to fill the fresh water tank up which uses this pipe here they all go in there This is the outlet for the grey water to show you. Just put the pipe in here and obviously that undo the knob, all your grey water comes out, which is from your shower and your sink, dirty water comes out from there. This is where your LPG gas bottle is for your cooking and your hot water when you need it for the shower. That's the bottle there. And obviously the tank is just sold off there. Close it up. This is your toilet cassette. Obviously, this has this fan has a toilet built in, so this is the cassette where all the toilet stuff is, and also there's a water tank for the flushing in there as well. So that's all there. I'm not going to go into too details because I just don't want to get my hands dirty at the moment. So we'll just push that away. That's it. Now we'll go inside and do a tour of the van inside. So let's go. Let's pop in. This camper also has an external picnic table, which is here. Just take the table out and slot it in here. And that comes becoming a picnic spot as well. Um, another thing as well, this camper also has an awning that comes out from here. We didn't hire it uh, because we didn't actually need it. But you can also get awning that you can hook it up to the camper and obviously have a kind of shade. And everything. Beautiful shower slash toilet is in there. It's been quite comfortable. Well, we haven't had much shower in here. It's been perfect. We used a few times. It's been amazing. You also get hot water in the shower as well, which is a good thing as well. Uh, we come here and we have three burner cooker, gas cooker. It's there, which is kind of dirty. Uh, kitchen sink tap. Also comes, uh, you can also get hot water in the tap as well. Comes out, like lift it up, lift it down, close it off. Don't need it. So it's a cook hood as well, with lights and stuff, all that in there. We haven't used that much, but it's there handy if you need it. This one mainly houses all the controls for the electronics. Um, so you've got the switches for the fridge, water pump, everything, a battery, um, while we're using all the light stuff, the AC remote, main switch water heaters and all the power switches all in there and obviously a little space here for your little stuff in there as well so there. on the rest obviously it's five there we've got our personal belongings there same on this side as well so um, most of them all occupied by priyanka and um, i've only got one maybe for my cereals but that's it yeah most of it, most of it is all been occupied by the wife Rolling eye emoji. <laughs> yeah. Um, in the back, it's the seating area at the moment uh, in conf seating configuration with the table here. And we'll show you the bed configuration later on. And that's it. We've got the doors open so we can get a good draft in well. the back. Uh, 
uh, the view's really really good because it has windows all all around so you get a really good light coming in there's also um, storage cupboards storage spaces underneath the seats as well so uh, if you lift these cushions out as I did here and lift this here there's loads of storage on this side and there's more storage on this side as well um, one tip is when you're pack, trying to pack in duffel bags no hard suitcases because it's easier to store your stuff in there rather than storing hard suitcases you'll have difficulties because there isn't enough space for suitcases so duffel bags or things back like that or backpacks they'll go in there perfectly so you have loads of storage spaces um, for two of us we've had I think four bags and we still have enough space for more, more bags if you needed to but yeah in terms of storage it's been great so um, we haven't had any problems yeah. as we come further up there's also a fridge here this side, just open that fridge and it's I think it's more than enough for our needs and uh, the stuff in there obviously we've got way more stuff but we don't actually need them but this has been perfect we can have the fridge running all the time battery's been great we never turned the fridge off at all comes in the microwave storage places here got water there got loads of storage again here uh, cubby space we get plates and all that this all comes with the camper van so we've actually not brought any of our stuff uh, got glasses wine glasses plates two coffee mugs here that's actually this is really really good you don't actually need to bring any of your own cutleries uh, there's more pots there and space there as well on the underneath is there open this drawer you've got knives forks spoons everything again that's all provided by mighty great with them as well but they also give you a dishwashing soap as well which is there if you need it as well matches and everything more pantry space in there so all of that space is just perfect We've got all our masalas, spices and all that stuff in there. On this sliding cupboard here, you have your toaster, your hot water kettle. There's another kettle for heating up the water on the stove. Open the bottom one. Again, more What's pans that? and pots. Again, this is all um, from my TV. We've actually not brought anything apart from one cooker, I believe in there but yeah everything is from them so pockets here to charge any of your devices like laptops or computers phones whatever here one thing to note is these only work when you're actually connected to powered site so if your van is not plugged into powered site these will not work um, you will only have option to plug them in on 12 volt at the front that's the only way of charging the thing other thing we have here is media they give you a TV which slides out from here so you have television and a DVD player uh, obviously it has USB ports and stuff uh, unfortunately it doesn't work on a local TV so you can't watch a normal TV but you can watch anything from HDMI or USB stuff so that's all there here as well and obviously when you don't need it just slides, slides in and just do that pin and that box away and you've got a storage space there on the top as well and in front of the van it's just basic meaties this is where you get normal radio cubby spaces here uh, in this version we have the automatic version um, that's ours that don't actually you don't actually get that with the van so is this as well but you do actually get the sat nav that actually comes with it, the Tom Tom. It's great, and in terms of that, it's just basic cabin. All that stuff in there, and you've got cubby space on top of it as well. Um, to show you how we turn this comfortable living space into a very comfortable, I think, queen size bed, if you call it. Yeah, so let's do that. Okay. Undo the lever and this tabletop comes off um, when you're not using this this is will be tucked away behind the driver's seat in the front so when you don't want this here 
this will be obviously you can stow away on the behind of the driver's seat this comes off i'm just gonna lay that here okay this bar comes off slots in right here underneath the cushions so this goes in okay and there's also another piece here which will go here which also is behind the driver's seat it's another piece again that just slots in just like this Cushion, and there we go. That's it. Now we have small backrests like these. Um, obviously, I have four of those. Those will slot in like this. One goes in there. Another goes in there. Another one here. And the one magically appearing. That's okay. And this is how the space looks and it's turned into a bed I'm just gonna put the pillows and uh, do it up uh, one thing to note is they do actually provide you with uh, two pillows and a, a duvet but in this trip we've taken hours um, just to be that little bit extra comfortable this is with the pillows and blankets in place so as you can see it's quite spacious so this is how it looks, uh, I'm 5'8 in height, this is perfect for my size, um, if you're slightly taller than me you may touch your feet um, on the units but otherwise this is so comfortable. These curtains here they do black out so what you do is just slide them across all the way, slide them across and again send me the back as well goes in there that slides out so just to give you that total privacy in the back so so um, when you're sleeping in the during the night this will be literally blacked out and you'll have no problem at all um, we've had amazing sleep um, over the last days and we don't actually miss our bed at home and um, this is so comfortable so um, yeah we definitely miss this our a bed tour would you say that's it thank you